In this short presentation, we're going to discuss the new self-adjusting clutches that are coming into the marketplace, uh, and especially into the aftermarket, as they're now about five years old in terms of OE production. Self-adjusting clutches have been introduced because of the ever-increasing torque that is being produced by modern engines, and also to improve uh, driver comfort, driver um, experience in terms of operating the clutch. These clutches uh, are fundamentally different from the standard clutches in that they have a diaphragm spring that is not riveted to the cover, but is actually floating on what is called a sensor ring, which is another type of diaphragm spring that allows it to take up the wear of the tr clutch driven plate. And this means that the diaphragm spring effectively stays in the same position throughout the life of the car. And this means that they get a consistent pedal feel all the way through the life with a consistent pedal travel. And of course, this means that it's much better for the driver. There's no change in the way the clutch operates over the life of the vehicle. So when technicians are fitting this type of clutch, there are a number of points that they should try and remember and make sure they take note of to ensure that they don't get any malfunction, uh, such as problems like judder and drag when they fit the new replacement clutch. Number one, they must make sure that they don't mishandle the unit uh, when they're putting it into the car in such a way that it goes out of its manufacturing tolerances or that the setting of the self-adjustment is changed. Number two, on certain clutches like the BMW clutches, they come with a retaining ring that must only be removed after they fitted the clutch cover to the flywheel. The third thing that you should be careful of is that on certain types of clutch in the self-adjusting range, certain manufacturers, there is a tool that is required to make sure that they can pre-tension the clutch on fitment. These tools are available in many of the tool manufacturers and they allow you to bolt the clutch to the cover in such a way that the pre-tension is put onto the self-adjustment. After installation, the clutch pedal should be operated at least three times to allow the clutch mechanism to adjust up to the dimensions of the clutch driven plate. If this isn't done, the customer will find that it changes over the first few operations and it's much better that the technician does this first. We always recommend that the cover, plate and the bearing are all replaced together and this is particularly important on self-adjusting clutches because these parts are matched together. Failure to follow these simple um, points will mean that there is a real danger that the clutch will either um, drag or there'll be a judder problem or in fact it will fail prematurely or wear prematurely. So these simple tips will help most technicians to have no problems fitting self-adjusting clutches which really are in their terms of fitment no more complicated than the standard clutch kits.